Hi everybody and welcome to I Follow TV. While Hollywood PR firms work round the clock to ensure that their clients are presented in a permanently positive light, fans are taking to I Follow to set the record straight. This is I Follow TV's celebrity encounters they wish you wouldn't remember. She's beautiful, she's famous, She's beautiful, and did I mention she's beautiful? But no matter how pretty Fergie may be, some fans have had some pretty ugly encounters to share. The Pussycat Dolls and the Black Eyed Peas were performing live at the Darien Lake Performing Arts Center. And yes, I got to hang out with Fergie in her dressing room before the show. I honestly have nothing good to say about this ego-driven, meth-using, swamp donkey of a singer. I didn't know what to expect before meeting her. Some said she was cool. Others said she was a biatch. I agree with the latter. She was short-spoken, rude, drunk, probably on drugs, and just not fun to be around. I'm not even going to waste any more time talking about her. Let it be noted that those views are not necessarily those of us here at iFollow. I just said she was pretty. From a pop diva to a political douchebag, there's just no shortage of bad news for Senator John Edwards these days. According to one fan sighting chronicled on iFollow.com, Senator Edwards may have been spotted after one of his alleged affairs. Amid all the controversy surrounding the admitted infidelity of former Senator John Edwards, it's funny to think that I may have been a first-hand witness to the affair even without realizing it. I was at a stoplight on Santa Monica Boulevard in the Century City section of Los Angeles. As I'm waiting for the light to turn, I saw a really familiar tall and skinny guy jogging in front of my car. I look closer to find that it's Senator Edwards running across the street in the middle of the day. The irony is that my car was about a block from the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Months later, the Beverly Hilton Hotel would be the very location where Edwards was caught red-handed, cheating on his wife with Riley Hunter. It was also reported that the Beverly Hilton was the common location for their many encounters, so it is quite possible that I saw Edwards hanging out right before another one of his infidelities. From a would-be president to a beloved king, CNN's Larry King, that is, there are some personalities that one would never expect to be off-putting in real life. Then you hear stories like these. How can I begin to tell you how bad Larry King rubbed me the wrong way? I've met some cranky celebrities, but Larry King takes the cake. I host a country morning radio show in Las Vegas, and we were to interview Sean King, his wife, before Larry's big stand-up debut at the Wynn Casino. Was Larry funny? No, not at all, but we'll get to that in a sec. I've always wanted to be a talk show host, so when I found out I could have the opportunity of meeting Larry King if I put his wife on our show, well then heck yes, let's do this. Sean was unbelievably kind, and actually was the reason I got to meet him. Sean took me backstage and said, hey Larry, Here's a girl that pretty much started in the business because of you. His reply, oh, then turns back around talking to whoever he was talking to. His wife said, Larry, at least take a picture with her. I know people are busy and wasn't looking for a conversation about life, career, or the birds and the bees. Maybe I just kind of wanted a, hey, Nat, nice to meet you, and thanks for following my career. I did get a picture, though. He is smiling, but I promise you, it wasn't because of me. For more outrageous celebrity fan encounters, be sure to check out iFollow.com. Real people, real celebrities, real encounters, only on iFollow.